concretely how to love God. Hmm. Have you ever thought of that? How to love God? How do you love God? How do you love God? How to love God? How to love God? Well, that's what we are going to be looking into today. Um, move it a little bit from that place so that you don't see the. No, no, no. Move this something to the. So that I don't see that corner. How to love God. How to love God. Always watch out for that. How to love God. So, how do we love God? <laughs> it's a big challenge. First of all, loving God is loving people. Um, one light is safe. Can you see the light a little bit? To the corner. Just move from the light a little bit. Can you see the light? The one of these lights. So you always wash out for other things. Tota is much doing small trade. Na blue dash, pana blue dash of silver black color show. What is it? Didn't it? Na tuda small trade, tuda small trade of silver black this color show. So, how to love God? Uh, this is a very serious topic in the sense that we're glad you write Pamon Moesha. We're glad you write Chichit in the next one. How to love God? I'm sorry, guys. I'm still trying to be a technical guy here at the same time. That's just a question. So how to love God? I'm just being distracted because I need for me I needed everything to be perfect. So, well, it's easy how to become God. Jesus Himself told us how to love God. Jesus Himself instructed us and told us how to love Him. Mark twelve thirty to thirty three, but we are going to read Mark twelve thirty and verse thirty and thirty three, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart. With all your soul, with all your mind, is it can you, is it visible enough? Maybe you need to make it bigger a little bit like that, just a little bit bigger, so that the walls will be bigger. With all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength, this is the first commandment. And to love him with all the heart, with all the understanding with all the soul and with all the strength and to love one's neighbor as oneself is more than all the old burnt offerings and sacrifices so let's talk about loving god to love god the first thing we have to know here is that god has a requirement a standard he has a uh, a standard of or a a formula of how we should love him or how he could be loved. So we cannot love God on our own terms. And we cannot use our own understanding, our own interpretation to say we want to love God the way we want or the way we understand. We can only love God the way he tells us to love him. The way he recommends us to love him. So how do you love God? If you want to love God, the best way to love God or the best way to know to love God is to follow God's instruction on how to love him. So God is telling us, God himself has instructed us on how to love God. Jesus himself came with that message on how to love God. So how is it? How do you love God? Let's look at that scripture again. Mark 12, verse 30 says, And you shall love the Lord your God 
with all your heart. But verse 33 says something very interesting that I would like to start with. Verse 33 towards the end says, And to love him with all the heart, with all the understanding, with all the soul, and with all the strength, and to love one's neighbor as oneself, is more than all the old burnt offerings and sacrifices. Now pay attention to is more than. So love, loving God, is more than burnt offerings, all forms of burnt offerings and sacrifices. Now unfortunately for us today, when you go to churches, you are being told that the way to love God is through offerings, any kind of offerings. You see, offerings, burnt offerings. This one is burnt offering, but now it's a different kind of offerings. It's through offerings and sacrifices. That is exactly the very first thing Jesus said was never be used as a criteria to loving God. So when it, God has his own parameter, there is a parameter that God wants for us that we could use to love him. There is a standard that God has for himself. We cannot love God through sacrifices or through offerings. 